Poland is a country with significant business and economic capacity. Geographic location, free market, natural resources and dynamic society make Poland a great economic partner for the countries from the region and from all over the world. According to the UN ranking, Poland is considered to be a highly developed country. Over 38 million people live in Poland. It is the sixth most populated country in the European Union. The majority of inhabitants live in the cities. The percentage of people with higher education is continuously growing and the average income per person exceeds $10,000 per year. Two million Poles work abroad. They supply Polish economy with money transfers estimated at around 4 billion euros per year. Gross domestic product has been systematically increasing for over 20 years. Poland registered the biggest increase in the GDP in the 90s, when its economy was developing most dynamically. High demand and consumption stabilized the economy in the times of crisis. Poland manifested its economic strength and stability in 2009, during the world's economic crisis. Poland was the only country in the European Union which had positive GDP. From that time on, Poland has been symbolically called the Green Island. The EU funds have been flowing to our country since 2004 and still are a huge support for the Polish economy. Over the last seven years, Poland has received 68 billion of euros from the EU budget. Over the next seven years, Poland is set to receive from the EU another 105 billion euros. The money will be used for building the infrastructure, agricultural policy and cohesion policy. For the last two years, Poland has had a positive balance of trade. It exports slightly more than it imports. Germany is currently the biggest trade partner of Poland. Over the past 10 years, foreign companies invested in Poland over $100 billion. More and more companies make their debut on the Warsaw Stock Exchange and the turnovers of stock exchange transactions increase continuously. 14 special economic zones are located around Poland. This is where entrepreneurs are able to do business on preferential conditions. The zones are to attract domestic and foreign investors as well as develop the region where they are located. The recognizability of Polish brands grows abroad. That concerns especially cosmetic, furniture and food industry. In pharmacies one can find products made by Inglot, Dr. Irena Eris, Evelyn Cosmetics. In most cafes, one can find Mokate coffee. You can also play Dead Island by Techland on your PC. French Elysee Palace, the building of the Council of Europe and the seat of the UN, are furnished in Polish furniture. Fakro, Drutex, Oknoplast supply the world in windows. And Solaris Company sells buses and trams. Thanks to the renowned Polish universities, the labour market has sufficient number of qualified workers to satisfy the needs of its different branches, from marketing and publicity to producing parts for the space industry. The level of unemployment in Poland is continuously dropping. It is estimated that in the year 2015 it will drop below 10%. The major problems of Polish economy, particularly of small and medium business, are high social contributions and a complicated tax system. For this reason, part of Polish entrepreneurs move their business to countries such as Great Britain, Czech Republic or Lithuania. Despite these obstacles, a stable political system and independent courts, cohesion between the Polish and the European law, as well as modernizing infrastructure and inborn entrepreneurship and ingenuity of Polish people, make Poland an attractive and trustworthy economic partner.